Hi, I'm James Tucker from Baffin Bay Networks. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a reverse proxy configuration in Riverview. In this example, I'll be using this website, which is hosted in Google Cloud. Let's go ahead and copy the IP address because we're going to need that in just a second. Now that we've looked at the website, let's go and see how we should configure this within Riverview. Go ahead and log into Riverview. And then select Traffic Management, Traffic Configuration. Today we'll be creating a reverse proxy using a Baffin Bay Network's Anycast IP. However, you can also set up proxies for your routed configurations. If you have Riverview deployed in a routed configuration, you can also lift up any slash 32 within your network to have full layer 7 inspection. Instead of an Anycast IP, it'll use one from your existing block. In this example, I'll be setting up a HTTPS proxy for the website shown previously. First thing we need to do is give it a name and a description. Now we'll choose a proxy IP. As stated before, I'm going to choose one of the ones provided by Baffin Bay Networks. This is an HTTPS site, so we'll put 443 in the port. While Riverview supports load balancing round robin, we're going to be just using a single IP in this case. Here I'll paste the backend IP address, and the port will still be 443. Please note that while today's example is HTTPS, Riverview supports multiple different protocols. I'll select HTTPS. In the advanced proxy settings, there are an additional number of settings we can configure. We can set the maximum number of connections. In this case, since it's a demo website, I'm going to set that to 2000. By doing that, we enable the built-in slow connection policy. This policy will protect you against slow lures and other slow HTTP types of attacks. In this use case, I'll be using HTTPS for my server health monitoring. Please note that in some cases, particularly with AWS and other cloud vendors, you must use TCP in order for the proxy to work. Because this is an encrypted website, I'll have to select a certificate. I've already uploaded that into the system. I just need to select it. I'll choose client-side ciphers. TLS 1.1 or TLS 1.2 is the preferred. And now I can select a few additional options including an XFF header, redirecting any attempts to access this on port 80 to port 443 automatically, enabling multiplexing, and turning on logging. Finally, I need to set my security settings. First, I'll select my threat protection policy. Please see the threat protection policy video for more information on how to create a threat policy. And now we'll choose both HTTP and network denial of service policies. The vast majority of our customers choose the automatic policies, which are dynamically generated based on your network traffic. That means you don't need to tweak or tune any policies. Everything happens automatically, so you always have the most up-to-date policy for your environment. Now we'll go ahead and create this, and my proxy goes into the deployment queue. I'll go ahead and refresh the page, and now it's deployed. Let's go ahead and test the configuration by trying to access it to the IP address. Because my certificate is tied to the domain name, I'm going to see this browser warning. I'll go ahead and get past that. And now we see the site loading on the Baffin Bay Network's IP address. There's a few more steps we need to complete before the deployment is done. First, we need to change the DNS pointer from the previous IP address to the new Baffin Bay Network's one. I'll go ahead and open up my DNS providers panel and you'll see I've already made the change. It's important to note that you should set your TTL as low as possible while doing this. Now when I browse to the domain name, my website loads and is protected up to layer 7 through Riverview. The final step is to configure my cloud provider to only accept connections from Baffin Bay Network's IP addresses. You can get a current list of these IP addresses from Baffin Bay Network support. Now the setup of this proxy is complete. My website is protected all the way up to layer 7 through Riverview. I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Baffin Bay Network support, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you, and have a nice day.